guys. Hi guys, how's everybody doing? I'm Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Alexa, good morning. Good morning. Apologies if you're not a Lionesses fan, but I'm so excited about the Women's World Cup final that I could burst. Just ask me, is it coming home? Alexa, what's the time please? The time is 11.50 a.m. Right guys, so Nikki's still not back. Um, I, obviously you're upset when your cat goes missing, but I can't do anything about it. I've been up and down the street several times, round the back of the flats. She's obviously gone missing. There's nothing I can do about it. There's no point distressing myself getting upset and shouting and yelling because I've got noise above my head. There's no point in doing that. Um, I used to get cross, get angry, slam things, get, get upset, but now I just accept things as they are. When you've got no choice, I've been to the council, I've been to the police, no one would do anything, there's nothing I can do. So you either drop down, sink down into the ground, get depressed uh, and get like that or you get angry and you can get yourself into trouble. If you get angry and, and wildly get cross with someone then you can get hurt. I'm a woman. I'm not going to knock on somebody's door. For all I know it could be a thug and, and punch me in the face. So I'm just keeping cool keeping calm and just carrying on like I usually do. My cat went missing yesterday morning whilst I was out walking my dog around the Rochester Riverside field. These things happen, there's nothing I can do about it. This morning there was a tortoiseshell cat in the tree opposite my window with a white collar around its neck and it looked like it had a moustache. And it was climbing up the tree right opposite my bedroom window. So I just smiled to myself and I just carried on with the rest of my day. I had my coffee, I had some breakfast. I'm not going to let it make me get ill and sick. I don't need to go to the doctor. Um, I, as you know, I went to my doctors and asked for a, for a letter to be written to the council it cost me £40. I'm quite capable of dealing with, th with things myself. Um, I'm not a care in the community case. As you, I'm not talking stupid, am I? I'm talking fluent. And I have worked for the civil service. I took an intelligence test, right? So there's nothing abnormal wrong with me. I am dealing with um, a, a neighbour that I had altercations with in 2020 and 2021. And my dad passed away during those years. And sometimes people can't be told what to do. You can't politely say keep the noise down. They take it to the next level and the next level after that. They can't accept the a fact that a woman has polite, politely asked them to be quiet. Right? Not nasty, I wasn't nasty, I didn't even go and knock on the door, I didn't see him face to face. I just politely said that your children sound like a herd of elephants going across my ceiling. I have disabilities and it's driving me around the bend basically. So I went to the doctors and I said that it's escalated. There was a skull put in the lift. When I came back from the hospital having a tr blood transfusion, somebody put a skull in the lift whilst I'd come back from the hospital, informed the housing, no one came out, no one looked at CCTV footage. Then I had that takeaway business and I had a thug come in the communal hallway and call me a stupid bitch. The police still didn't deem that necessary to do anything about, right? So upstairs have been quiet since April and I've been getting on with my business, like no noise upstairs and I guess it, I suppose it was a bit boring inside the flat. I wasn't going out. They tried to get that Charlie. Uh, the Charlie tried to touch me in his bedroom. 
when I went round to Charlie's flat near the Masonic Lodge, Charlie called me into his bedroom and he was getting closer and closer, that tramp with the false teeth and the bucket hat. Uh, nothing happened there. Um, so they keep trying to instigate these scenarios where these men that are uh, unhygienic, they're drunks, they're addicts, keep coming up to me and they keep trying to get me with these the most unhygienic and horrible men and I refuse. I said no, you're not my boyfriend and that was that. So while you're, while you're, what, you see what happened at Lansdowne Court, I was letting these guys back into my flat and they were abusing me inside my flat and all the police are going to come out and do is say well you invited them into your flat. So now, if Charlie asks me round to his flat, I'm not going to go round there. I'm not going round there. I'm staying away from that bloke. So if he approaches me, then I have the right to tell him to stay away from me or I'm going to call the police. He's not coming into my flat. I'm not going to his flat again. I'm not somebody's play toy. Now, every time I start talking, now we've got someone yelling. I thought talking in your flat was private. So every time I try to do a YouTube channel with the windows shut, nobody should be listening. Why does someone start yelling when I'm talking or shout shut up when I'm speaking in my flat, in my own privacy of my flat? Why is that happening? I just started doing a video and someone starts yelling. I should be able to, to be free in my flat to do what I want. I should be able to speak. I should be able to, to listen to the radio. I should be left in peace. Now my privacy is being invaded. And these thugs are picking on me. They're thugs. They're picking on a woman. They're picking on me. I had about a 20 minute conversation with my son before I went to bed last night and somebody was listening in to every word me and my son were saying to each other. So you have to tell lies over the phone. You have to tell lies over the phone to confuse pet guys that are listening in. You have to lie over the phone. My son happened to say to me that he didn't have much money. So when I went out this morning, they were all sat outside Costa Coffee, stuffing their faces in the morning, mind, with food. Stuffing their faces full of food. My son is... Um, tried to help um, but I've, I've got to deal with this by myself and this when I complained about a neighbour for noise this happened in 2020 and 2021 I had golfers coming on the field aiming golf balls at me with the name Taylor on them T-A-Y-L-O-R they were hitting golf balls with the word Taylor on them at me My surname is Marshall. I had golfers aiming golf balls at me. Um, I, what I'm going to do is, if anybody sets their dog on me again, I'm going to take the dog owner and I'm going to take photographs of the dog and the dog owner and I'm going to send it to the Medway Messenger because it's going to look like a really good headline, isn't it? lunatic dog owner sets Luna the lunatic on my back I'll be forced to go to the newspapers and that'll be for everywhere in Medway to see everyone in Medway will see that I've had enough setting black dogs on 
on me. I've had enough of it. And if you've got it on camera and you've got photographs of them doing it, they can't deny the fact. I've been told he lives down Rochester High Street, so he doesn't live far away. And he brings his dog up to the Rochester Riverside and it keeps jumping all over my back and the back of my legs. When I was walking with Charlie around the field, it jumped. Charlie is very, very thin and it was nearly knocking him over. And Charlie said, um, what's your dog's name? He went Luna for lunatic, the owner of the Black Labrador. He actually went, it's called lunatic. Now I was on the phone yesterday walking up on the field and he just let his dog jump all over me, he didn't even apologise. I've been to the police, I've been to the council, I've been told to try, try and transfer with somebody out of this flat. The same thing that went on in Gloucestershire. You, 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 we can't move you, you have to transfer with somebody. And then I got people mucking about with my phone number. So it's going on again. Um, I came back and that dog was barking me on, at, at me on the balcony again. Fair play, the owners like told it to shut up, and it went back indoors. But I feel terrorised in my own home. My cat's gone missing, and I'm stuck indoors. And we hear what my mum had to say this morning. She mentioned snowball which is my only cat that's left. You have one new message and three saved messages. First new message received today at 10.27 a.m. Good morning, Tanessa. Have you found Mickey, your cat? Have you been thinking of you? And um, I'm ringing you now just to, just to make sure, you know, everything's all right. Now, it ring me when you want to, if you want to today. You are at Genestra. And as I said, uh, I hope you find, or you have found, Nikki. I know how much you loved her, and I hope Snowball 2 is all right, and I hope, I hope Max is all right. Okay, Genestra? If you want, as I said, I'm repeating myself, but if you want to ring me today, give me a ring at any time, all right? Bye for now. Thinking of you, Janestra. Bye. I've already said... To listen to the... I've already said that I can't go up to my mum's unless Max comes with me. Max is my chihuahua. My mum has mentioned Max over the phone. She's mentioned Snowball. And I had an argument with my mum a few days ago. After the argument, he's upstairs with his kids. And my cat's gone missing after I argued with my mum. It wasn't a violent argument. My mum brought my youngest son up, which I don't, I don't see him. And I got very upset and agitated which anyone would do when they haven't seen their son for over 10 years. It's bound to upset me. My father used to tell my mum off for mentioning my children. She said, Genestra, he said, Janestra doesn't see her kids. You're upsetting her. So anything to upset me, mention my teeth, mention my kids I don't see, anything to antagonise and upset to make out that I'm the guilty party and I'm not. I'm completely innocent and I've got evidence to prove it as well. I've got lots of evidence in fact and these idiots that are leaving nasty messages along with mobile phone numbers obviously think they're never going to get caught and they can get away with talking shitty crap to me and upsetting me because they think they'll never be traced. 
they antagonise, they incite, they cause somebody to get upset and frustrated. Um, I do keep cool, and when my I've I've got a thirty minute video of my mother saying nasty things about me to antagonise trouble. I've got a third, which which I will show to the police if necessary. I've got a 25 to 30 minute video where I'm actually frightened of my mother. I've walked out of her flat and walked round the corner not knowing what to do. Um, she's basically said that I'm trying to copy her. I'm trying to be Jennifer and that the schizophrenics are paranoid. They're paranoid. They think they're God or Jesus and they, they think my mum thinks I'm trying to be her and I've said to her many times why would I want to be an old lady and I try not to get cross and when she's upsetting me I know she's got a mental health illness I try to go outside but it's very hurtful what she's saying and I've got a 30 minute video of her saying nasty things about me Now I'm going to stay in my flat safe, right? Max is going to come everywhere with me, everywhere. Because a cat just doesn't disappear off the face of the earth, does it? to give to the police that I'm being stalked, harassed, phoned constantly by my mother and she's obviously, someone's obviously asking my mum to keep ringing and, and I find out where I am and what I'm doing. And then all this noise goes on upstairs and she tells me she's been asleep all day resting. I'm going to get on with my day, I'm going to cook my lunch. Um, and I'll see you later. And there's Max. There he is. He's asleep. And he's missing Nicky.